One of the most visible symbols of the BYU campus is the Centennial Carillon Tower. And when the songs ring out from the bell tower, many people will be surprised to find out there's actually a person <laughs> playing the bells up there. Randall Jepson climbed the tower to find out how it works. When the BYU bell tower rings out the hourly chimes, it's controlled by a machine. But other than that, any music from the tower is played by hand. I think the biggest question people have about the carillon is simply how is it played? They, they think it might be played by an ivory keyboard with fingers, but the idea of playing an instrument with the side of your hand is completely foreign to most people. Joseph Peoples is one of three students chosen to get paid to give daily noon concerts in the bell tower. He's been studying the organ, but when the opportunity came to expand his abilities, he took the chance. When I first came to BYU, my professor, uh, Dr. Cook, who is over, he is the University of Carolina, and he asked me if I'd be interested in learning how to play. And I kind of hesitantly said, okay, didn't really know what it was. And so we had a couple lessons up here, and then I started taking more lessons and, and just really loved it. To get to the top of this tower, you've got to go up a spiral staircase of 99 steps, and then there's a ladder after that. To play the carillon keyboard, you make your hands into a fist and push down wooden handles that pull a wire that rings the bells. Some of the larger bells can also be played with your feet, and playing can be a workout. You're just going 90 miles a minute for, you know, a few minutes or a few pages, and, and you get done with it, and you're just exhausted. you got to take a break just because you've put so much effort just into throwing these keys down and, and making all the sound, especially when it's loud. So the next time you hear a song from the bell tower, you'll know there's someone actually up there banging away on wooden pegs. Randall Jepson, KSL 5 News.